Welcome everybody to Banana Bread Trades. My name is Goose and today we're going to talk about a setup and a trade that didn't work out. But by using some tools at our disposal, we were able to prevent that trade from being a heavy loss. So what happened is on stream today, we were watching price and it was a pretty slow average day. We get to initial balance high and we get the setup to short. It's a setup that I take every time. Everything aligned and everything looked great for the short. So we got short, standard, stop, and take profit. However, there was a major red flag. We got short, and then we saw all this selling come in, which is usually a great sign. On Delta and time in sales, there was lots of red. That's what we like to see. But one thing that wasn't happening was price wasn't moving. We had like incredibly above average selling, no moving. And that indicates to me there's a bunch of passive buyers absorbing all of those market sells and when you are absorbing market sells at that level that's really concerning because if those market sellers run out of steam well we're going to reverse hard in the other direction and that is exactly what happened so when we saw that we were able to make the executive decision to hey let's move our stop to break even just to protect ourselves here because this is not a great sign price immediately flipped against us we took a break even and we were okay because we didn't really take a loss. And then we were able to sit patiently and wait the rest of the day. And finally, we caught another good setup, took our trade, it worked out, and we ended the day green. But because we used our delta and time and sales to notice that absorption, we avoided taking that loss. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the clip from the stream so you guys can see the whole trade real time and what my thought process was going through the whole thing. I'll go ahead and link the stream also down below. So if you guys wanted to watch the whole day, you can as well. But I hope you find something useful from this and can kind of put this as a tool in your arsenal to help you make better decisions in the future. So one last thing, um, as I was editing this, I realized that the audio is a little whack. It was picking up some background noise that I didn't realize it was doing. And also I do use ES Delta in volume to kind of track some of the NQ moves. And I know that sounds weird, but ES has a lot more volume and has a lot thicker order book throughout the day. So it can sometimes be more reliable to trust its levels and its delta rejections at some of these major levels. So I'll watch it and then also trade in Q because it's usually also very reactive to what ES is doing. So sorry about that. If you want more information, um, come check out in the Discord. I write up all of the reasons why I do this stuff, but just wanted to kind of put that in there. So don't get confused because I know that question will come up. So back to the video. We're just in on some MNQ. I just don't hate this short very much. Now we're watching Delta here. Seeing all these sellers step in. It's not really wanting to sell though. I'm gonna be patient here. See if we get some actual selling stepping in. Not wanting to step. Sellers are stepping in on Delta. Price isn't hard yet. Come on now. Come on now. Hmm. Hmm. Stop to break even. Big selling on the Delta. Price kind of going up. That's not the greatest look for us. Um, big selling on the Delta. Price not wanting to reject, though. That's not a great sign. Price can't flush here. It's going to mean some rippage. Big selling on a delta. Price still not coming down. I am concerned, so I'm going to what happened. Price not wanting to sell. Big red delta. Price needs to break down here. We have some passive buyers going. Let's look at the uh, time sales. 
Mm. Mm. I'm not liking it. Look at this. Oh, I am moving stop to break even just because I think there's some uh, potential rippage here if we don't flush right off this level. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, we got break even there. I'll leave the runner on. Kind of get rid of some risk here, but I don't like how we have this heavy red delta, but we're not going down. That kind of makes me think that we got some possible rippage here. We'll see you later, Mr. Sam. <clears throat> hope you have a fantastic day. I hope to see you in the next one. Yeah, so we were right. There is a little bit of rippage here. I'm leaving that runner on. Like I said, it's pretty light leverage, so I don't I don't really care if it gets stopped. Um, it's worth it's worth the shot. But we have this super red delta, but price isn't going down, right? With price not going down, super red delta, that means there's some big passive buyers chilling. And we made the right decision by putting that stop at break even, right? So we'll let this runner just die here at high of day just because the risk reward is still there if it does end up rejecting it'll be a nice move but it's not something that i'm really willing to put a lot of leverage on right so we're just gonna kind of hang out and wait but i bet we go back and slap that high a day Dude. There it is. We were right. We were right, and we made the right choice by killing our core position so we didn't take a big loss. That was that was a smart decision by us. We saw that big red delta. I hope anyone that's watching right now, you saw that big red delta, right? And then price wasn't moving down, and that got me really suspicious that there were some big passive buyers, and that's exactly what happened. Some big passive buyers... We're sitting there. They weren't letting us move any further down. Once the sellers ran out of steam, boom. Flush right back up to the high. I'll move this off my screen. And that's how I use Delta to kind of um, gauge what I'm doing. That was, that was a good move by us. Like I said, it was a good risk-reward situation. Um, we made the right decision by killing the core position at break-even. Left a runner on because, like I said, the risk reward was still there if it did end up breaking down, but it did not, and we took a very small loss. So we're, we're chilling. We are chilling, and we'll just wait. I'm down thirty-five dollars. Yeah, so we're we're only down thirty-five dollars. So we're hanging out. Okay. So here's the Apex account. We're down $35. That's nothing. We're chilling. That's why I wanted to play with light leverage today.